Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV, and I want to go over challenge 1.2. This is about sketching your app idea. There's four parts. We're going to work on drawing, and then we're going to describe what our idea is. We'll iterate and we'll share. I want you to pause the video and read over the PDF for challenge 1.2. And then when you're ready, come right back here. Okay, for this challenge, I want you to be putting your ideas on paper. I carry notebooks around with me everywhere, and it's really a great place for me to capture ideas. Sometimes I can't sleep at night, and it's because I'm thinking about some new app idea or some new way of communicating or displaying information in an app or maybe a different way to interact with something. And these can keep me up late at night until I put it on paper so that my mind can go back to sleep, so that I can sort of rest easy knowing that I'm not going to forget this idea. And I've got tons of ideas and notebooks, and, and this is sort of a starting point. So I want to make a, an app for coffee, and this is something hopefully I'll, I'll publish later this year. And in order to get there, there's a lot of different calculations and numbers that you have to play with. You've got the, the amount of coffee beans, which is weighed, uh, and I like to use grams, and then you've got water, which I weigh in grams as well, since if one gram of water is the equivalent to one milliliter of water. And so I want to, to create this app to really help people learn how to, to brew coffee without an auto-drip coffee brewer, to brew coffee a little bit differently. And so I'm starting to sketch out some of the inspiration for that app here. And sort of this is where we can progress. This is where we can actually put the idea that's on paper into an iPhone app. Now, this isn't very sexy. There's not a lot going on, but it's a proof of concept that allows me to actually interact with the app and see if this works. I can actually test this out when I brew my next batch of coffee and I can say, okay, wow, this, this really helped me get that calculation faster. How can I improve it? Here's another example. I'm working on a map border app, and, and if you've followed some of the course materials, you've already seen this project, and this is one of the new screens that I want to add. I want to be able to crop photos, and I, I felt like there weren't really good ways to do this, so I sort of looked at the existing cropping screens and, and came up with my own implementation. I'd also like to release a cropping app, and I just haven't gotten around to it because it's, it's one small component in the map border app, but it, it could stand alone as its own app on the App Store because I haven't really been very happy with a lot of the cropping apps. So I wanted to make something that, that works better for me, that makes it easier to, to work with my photos and get the exact dimensions that I need for different app screens or for different photo projects that I work on. So using some of these ideas for inspiration, I went into Xcode and I built the user interface based on some of the sketches you see here. And there's there's really, I'd say, three big components here, maybe four. There's the, the top bar, which I customize, and this was customized for iOS 6, so you've got the, the button images and the whole outlines, and iOS 7 sort of moved away from that, so this is, this is one of the things that can set you back a little bit on your app design is when Apple changes things radically. And so this is a change that is going to force me to go back and, and simplify some of the interface components. They look better on iOS 7. Then you have the, the middle area, and that draws a little widget around an image to show me, okay, where's the crop region going to be? So we want to visualize and make it very apparent to the user what's happening in an image. And so that involved a lot of different parts. You have to take into account for a landscape image and a portrait image. But when you're just working on your sketches, that doesn't really matter. It's when you come to the implementation side, that you're like, oh, wow, there's a, a lot of work to do here to get this app polished and, and ready to sell. So these are, these are sort of going to some of the details. So I'm visualizing the crop region. And then the third thing that's going on here is behind the scenes, I need to be doing some image manipulation. So I have to have the full res image loaded 
and then I have to calculate how many pixels in and how many pixels wide the, the crop region is so that it matches what I'm displaying to the user in the user interface. So there's sort of a, a visible thing, and then there's a, a computer graphics problem where you have to actually cut up an image based on the dimensions that the user's giving. Uh, then the, the last big component in here is this bottom area, and this is a custom scrollable area that's got a lot of buttons. And so I, I wanted to have a lot of presets so that the user could use a custom crop ratio. They could use the original size. They could use a square. And then I actually made it so that if you tap the button twice, it switches between the the portrait orientation and then the, the landscape. So you can actually rotate the dimension. So right now we're on 11 by 14. If you were to tap that button again on the bottom, you would be able to switch to 14 by 11 and that would be a much wider crop area. And so this is an app idea that I sort of took from sketches and I actually designed based on those. So that's what I want you to be thinking about. How can you design your app interface on paper and then start to think, okay, what are the things I need to learn to actually make this happen? So in this course, I'll be getting you started with that and then I'll be launching some additional courses that will continue how to do a lot of the, the graphics things and the UI collection view that I have along the bottom. I'll be showing you how to do that along with stylizing your user interface like I have here in this demo app. And so you can see the difference between this app and the previous app, which was not stylized at all. All right, so once you do that, you can use Twitter or Facebook and just use the hashtag my iPhone app and share it with the world. Let other people see that what you're working on and get feedback. If you just work under a rock and you never get feedback, you might have a good idea, but you're never going to have a great idea. So it's, it's really important to get those ideas out there so you can get some feedback from people who might not be interested in making an iPhone app, but they might be your first customer. So I regularly post stuff that I'm working on so that other people can see it. Occasionally, I'll get some people interested in a new project. So all I did was post a little sketch, and I already got people who are really interested in this, and I got some feedback from several different people. So this is just a starting point, and I would follow up with anyone who, who comments or has some kind of interest because... Those are people who might have ideas that I might not have, and I can leverage them in my iPhone app. All right, so just work on getting your concepts on paper, sketch some things. You don't have to be a great artist. You can see that my sketches, they look okay. They could be a lot better if I was a, a better artist, but they, they get the, the job done. They're, they're showing the information that's missing. They're showing the information that I'm looking for and, and trying to give the user the numbers or the the information that they need to make a decision. And so in this case, it's it's how to brew coffee and, and how much coffee beans you need per how many cups of coffee you want to serve. All right, so get sketching.